Hey guys, just back again. Did the video for the silent suppressors and forgot to do the rimfire one. Uh, so yeah, obviously I'll just try and keep this fairly brief. Um, went through and did the yeah, video on the silent centre fire suppressors. They do of course have a rimfire suppressor option available. Um, neat design. Uh, this has got a monocore unit which is removable for cleaning. That's really important for um, rimfire suppressors. Um, that's yeah, uh, 7000 series high strength aluminium alloy which is hard coat anodised. Uh, have a stainless steel threaded diffuser brake section like just like on the centre fire models. It's got a little spiral diffuser uh, design so that means it self tightens as you fire it. Um, but the key thing of course is that the removable rear core um, or sort of removable monocore um, means that you can pull it apart for cleaning and that's really important for subsonic ammo particularly where you've got uh, a lot of fillers and sometimes you know, unburnt powder also there's um, something to be aware of just for safety reasons is that um, you get uh, sort of lead, you know, powderised lead in there so uh, we always recommend people use um, you know, rubber gloves and um, do it outside uh, if you want to clean that with kerosene or um, dishwashing detergent something like that um, seems to work good. Um, key features of the suppressor like the other ones uh, the tubes as you can see are threaded on the outside uh, so once again that means there's no internal threads to worry about filling up with um, powder fouling and crap. Uh, the other thing I sort of found I've said I've been fitting these as well for over a year for my customers and we found that just smearing the outside of the monocore unit and just putting a light smear of grease as well uh, so grease on there, grease in there um, when that goes in it just stops it um, from sticking in place so hard uh, obviously as the power failing dries uh, it goes like concrete and um, although there's a little tool that's supplied with these to help tap the, um, the core out um, it just means that if you've got that grease layer there uh, it doesn't tend to lock up so solid so you can then clean the unit out. Um, how often? Um, it sort of really depends a little bit on how often you're using the suppressor at hand, the, the amount of ammo you're putting through. But in most cases, if you can clean it every three or four hundred rounds, or um, you know, if you're only shooting a cage, it's probably fine. Um, if guys are you know, like commercial possuming or commercial rabbit shooting, um, you know, they may go through 500 rounds in a night. So you know clean it out as often as you like. Um, the main thing is that just take care that you don't damage the unit. There is a little um, it's a removal tool and bristle brush uh, that's supplied with these units. I mean I sell them through my business or you can buy them off the Silence um, website. Um, but the main thing is to just make sure you put a little smear of grease on the outside of the core and the inside of the tube when you go to reassemble it um, and just a little bit of oil, just a drop of oil on the threads. Um, the rear end cap's not removable, they suppose are lock tied it on and it's obviously thread specific so um, half 20 is the most common one, um, also they do half 28, M18 by 1, I think it's 9 16 24 and a few other thread options as well uh, including bigger threads like uh, M20 by 1 or uh, up to 7 8 28 if it's a really big um, sort of fat target rifle 22 barrel so that's a really good feature I mean you don't have to worry about having to back bore the bore under the thread section um, which is, was the old thing we used to have to do when the only thing everybody anybody made was half 20 um, so yeah fortunately there's some other options available now um, they do come with um, obviously knurled front end cap which is nicely done it's cut knurled Nice job there, and these do have a rubber um, sleeve that's fitted over there fairly tightly. Uh, if I've got time, we'll add a little bit of a uh, bit onto the end of the video just to show you how to remove that. In most cases, um, with regular handling, um, the rubber should last for years um, as long as you don't get petrol or other solvents or something on the rubber, it should last really well. Um, but they do have on the Silent website, you can get replacement um, sleeves for these if you want to, but in most cases, guys, just 
leave them on. And they had a sort of neat sort of feel to it as well. Uh, you know, good sort of grip there. Um, but when you're installing it, as I sort of tell customers that you don't need to over tighten it, just finger and thumb pressure because they will stay tight as you fire them. Um, but the yeah, other thing which is quite important to know, and this is with the centre fire suppressors as well, is never leave them on the rifle permanently. Always take the suppressor off a rifle when you finish firing it or you know, finish your hunt for the day. Um, the reason for that is suppressors do create a lot of condensation and the internal surface is literally drip wet. Um, I mean, if you can want to put 20 or 30 rounds through one of these in a short space of time, put the core out and have a look for yourself, you'll see they literally drip wet. Um, so if you are storing it on the end of your barrel, that's essentially like having a moisture reservoir on the end of your barrel, so it will tend to create rust or promote rust uh, on your barrel if you leave the suppressor on there. So, um, yeah, other than that, they seem to work really well um, with 22 rim fires. Um, Obviously the quietest if you're going to get is with subsonic ammo. Any ammo that's high velocity, whether it's 22, 22 Magnum, 17 HMR or whatever, if you've got a sonic crack of the bullet, you're always going to get the noise of that. That in itself can be at least 125 decibels. If you're shooting around trees, you know, you're always going to get a little bit of that sound reverberation back on you. So, yeah, but as far as uh, suppression effect goes comparing these with other units. I found that they're basically just as good as anything else. Um, as far as practicality of being able to pull them apart easily for cleaning, well, these are the simplest thing I've seen on the market. Um, you know, there's no springs or battles to worry about. Um, virtually idiot proof. I mean, you can't reassemble it or you can't reinstall the core the wrong way. Um, as long as you don't somehow managed to cross thread the front end cap, we shouldn't have any issues with them at all. Um, the other good thing about having the stainless uh, there on your barrel section is you don't have to worry about cross threading it there, usually unless you, I don't know, totally stuff something up. So yeah, once again, just like the other ones, very accurately machined parts, high quality construction, and um, yeah, you buy one of these, obviously they're not the cheapest unit on the market, but as we said previously, you get what you pay for. They are also not the most expensive, but a very good value for money product that does what it says and will do you uh, good service. Thanks for your time. Right, this is just a quick demo on how I install the uh, rubber uh, sleeve covers for the silent room fire suppressors. Um, what you can do is just put a little bit of talcum powder, uh, just smear that on, on the inside of the rubber sleeve. Uh, you also need a air compressor, um, just running at about 60 psi, and just use a bit of ins electrical insulation tape just to tape over the um, metal nozzle to see that scratch the suppressor. Uh, what we're actually going to use is the air pressure to ease the sleeve onto the suppressor, um, which is a pretty quick and easy way of doing it. Um, first, just pull it on about an inch or so. And just hook that under there, grab the sleeve on the other side and then apply the air. And that just allows it to slide on easily. From there, you can just work your unit on and um, pop the core in do the end cap up in and you're good to go. Uh, if you ever want to remove it, you can just roll it off or hook it under there. Like that, and it comes off easy as. So just to show you that installing again, on about an inch or so, Put that over there, grab the other side. Job done.